Hello everyone, in this video I want to show on how we can make endpoints deprecated with the .NET 9 OpenAPI generation. So like you can see, the weather report endpoint here is marked as deprecated um, in the Swagger UI, and so is the weather forecast. And this is not using the Swagger um, OpenAPI generation, uh, nor any other tool, it's using the .NET 9 OpenAPI generation. And if you've played around with it, you might have noticed that this is not really possible with minimal APIs out of the box. So I'm going to show you that this document, which is on OpenAPI slash v1, uh, which is generated by .NET 9, this endpoint does have the deprecated flag. So what does this look like from code? Well, we have two minimal APIs here, uh, and this one has the is deprecated extension method. And what does this do? Well, with the endpoints, the minimal APIs, we have these uh, routing endpoint builders, uh, which use the map get the with name is deprecated and other things. And these do not support uh, deprecation out of the box because this is an extension method I created myself in this code base. And why is that? Because an endpoint cannot be marked as deprecated by .NET. The OpenAPI generator uses the endpoint explorer to look for all the endpoints. And that's just not a feature. But fortunately, we have a way to expand it ourselves. So what does this is deprecated extension method do? Let's look at it. Well, it adds uh, a new metadata file to the builder. And you might want to know what is that with metadata file. So let's go on back and look at the with name extension method. Because this under the box, this also uses the with metadata. And then it adds a new endpoint name metadata class, which holds the endpoint name. So we do the exact same thing. We have a deprecated endpoint metadata, metadata class, which holds a flag is deprecated, which is default set to true. All right, so this is just a record that doesn't really do anything uh, other than hold the value. And then when we go come back to the top where we add the open API, we say, well, add the deprecated operation transformer. So with the not new .NET 9 open API generation, we can add our own transformers by transforming the document or specific operations. And an operation is one of the endpoints. So this is one operation, this is one operation. Uh, and when I go into this, we can see that this adds a deprecated operation transformer. This is also a class I, I wrote myself. So let's look at the transformer and what it does. So the transformer takes in the open API operation itself and it takes in the context of uh, the endpoint that we're working with. And going into the description, action description and endpoint metadata, we get a list of objects which hold, holds our deprecated endpoint metadata record that we just saw. And then when I get this and it has any, then when all are true, I just say, well, operation not deprecated. That's it. It's very simple, but you have to do it yourself. So what is this operation? Let's look into it. The operation is really just the open API document, um, dot, uh, operation, but then in, in the C sharp class. And we can set a lot of values here, uh, like the operation ID, parameters, that's what he responses, etc. And a lot of these are set by default. The deprecated is one of them, because on the open API side, we do know what deprecation is. On the endpoint side, we do, do not, uh, we do not have deprecation by default. So back in our program file, uh, like you can see here, we're adding OpenAPI. We add the transformer to the to the builder. Uh, then I m add Swagger UI just to have something familiar uh, with the, the OpenAPI document, and I map scaler, uh, which is another uh, uh, OpenAPI viewer, and we can look at them both. So both of these endpoints will show in both uh, UIs. Uh, but one of them will be deprecated. So here we have Swagger, which you saw at the beginning, which has the deprecated endpoint, and then also uh, Scalar, which also has the deprecated endpoint. They're both using the same OpenAPI document. So if you do not want to uh, type all that code in, you can get my NuGet package, which is currently um, in preview because .NET 9 is still in preview uh, while I'm recording this. I will make sure to have an version one up uh, once .NET 9 is out. Uh, but you can go to the bearish.openapi.deprecated NuGet package and install it using .NET add package bearish.openapi.deprecated and it's right there in your solution. That's actually also what the example project uses. Or you can go to the GitHub page of the project. It's open, it's public. You can start it, fork it, get the code, do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's free for all. And in here I might have some, uh, some more explanation. So you might want to look at the repository as well. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.